Hey guys, welcome back. Working on the Biscayne again. We are putting in the accelerator pedal today. Now, I looked on the internet. I couldn't find a direct bolt-in gas pedal. Um, I don't know why. The, uh, the original pedal had a rod that went out the side of the firewall with another rod and then it had a linkage going to the carburetor and it was a big mechanical uh, <laughs> mess with Z-bars and linkages and stuff. Um, so we don't want to use any of that. We'd rather just have the cable style throttle. Um, a cable came with my intake kit. I'm questioning it a little bit. I've already broke it once. Um, the, the end that was crimped on there fell off. So I may have to get a new cable, but either way, we need to get the accelerator pedal in. I picked one up from low car that looked like the mounting flange was the same as what the Biscayne has on the firewall. And I believe this pedal fits like a Camaro or something. Let me see. <clears throat> so the kit I got is the XBAG6096 uh, Camaro gas pedal with insert, black. So from low car, I got it opened up. I have it kind of, uh, kind of mocked in place. Let's crawl underneath the dash and I'll show you some of the issues that we have and what we can do to fix it. That two bolt flange on the firewall is where the original gas pedal went through. The Camaro must have the same design because the flange looked correct. I bought it, it bolts right up. But let's see if I can get this here. As you can see, the shaft isn't you know, uh, parallel to the ground. Um, it's going up at an angle. And then the other problem we have is there's a support rod up in here that's kind of right in the way of the linkage. And if I go over here, you know, I can re-clock everything to make it work. Um, but I don't like being that close to that support rod because we don't want to have any chance of going wide open throttle and getting stuck there. Now, I'm also gonna have to remove the brake pedal, uh, or the, not the brake pedal, the clutch pedal. We don't need that anymore. So we'll have to get that out of our way, but um, some people leave them, some people just, you know, flop it to the floor, you don't have to worry about it. Some people will put the uh, bigger brake pedal on here. What I wanna do, I think, is I wanna get that gas pedal further away from the brake pedal. So I'm gonna cut this rod off of the flange down there and I'm going to uh, shorten it slightly, which will bring it over this way, away from that support rod. And then I'll also weld it back on to where everything's on there straight. Hopefully, that's the plan. Even though the pedals are aluminum, I'm pretty sure that the rod and the flange are made out of steel. So I'll throw a magnet on there, make sure that's the case before I cut it apart. Um, I'm sure that it is, but hopefully if we move this over three quarters of an inch or so and get it straight up and down, uh, we'll avoid that rod. So I ended up shortening it probably close to an inch. Um, I also positioned it off center in here. Um, I still have to tighten the lower bolt, but I'll have to use a wrench on that. But this allowed me to clear that uh, stabilizer rod that goes to the dash. And then I use a small hole saw to cut a hole in the insulation right there. And now I'm gonna put a little dimple in the firewall and then I'll go out on the other side and make sure that there's nothing that's gonna interfere. If it's all good, then I'll drill a hole and I'll put the cable right there. And then we can adjust the, uh, the pedal height here because it's adjustable. Um, we can separate this and change the angles of stuff. Now that I have the pedal kind of where I want it, I drilled out the hole for the accelerator cable. The cable is longer than you're gonna need, more than likely. Um, it's adjustable here. There's a nut similar to this on the other end. And then they give you quite a bit of cable because they don't know what throttle body you're running. Um, since I have enough cable, I think I'm gonna run it around the back of the intake. Um, as long as that doesn't cause any binding, then I'll be fine. If it does, I've seen pictures on the internet of other people running it over the top of the intake. I don't like the look of that as much, so I'm probably going to try and run it around the back and we'll come up the side and here. So we need to cut this cable down a little bit. You want to leave some slack, um, at least at the back of the motor, so when the motor, motor torques it doesn't pull the uh, accelerator cable. You don't want to have any of this under tension. So I just snip that up. 
it'll go back in there like that. Um, you can crimp this if you want, um, but I'm going to wait until we uh, make sure we like the cable at the length that it's at before I crimp it. That'll keep this from falling out and pulling on the throttle cable itself. Now this here really kind of pissed me off. This is the throttle cable that came with the intake. Um, I hooked it up temporarily to the throttle body and I was just pulling on the cable. Um, just kind of testing stuff out. And this little uh, piece that's crimped onto the end of the cable. Let me zoom you guys in here. That piece fell off the cable. Um, I know my customer wouldn't be real happy if he came to pick up the vehicle and hit the gas once and this broke or you got stranded somewhere. Um, so I, I re-crimped it on there. Um, it wasn't crimped very tight. I just ran a, a, a small drill bit through it to make the whole round again. And then I used my same battery terminal crimper to crimp that back on. If, if I don't like the way that this turns out, then I'll probably just order a, a, a low car cable kit. Um, I was kind of surprised that it didn't have just a set screw in the side of here and I considered putting one in other than they They counterboard the inside here for that call it to sit down inside of there. So that wouldn't really work So we'll try it if it doesn't work. I'll just order a new one um, So this end here is the end that's going to go on the accelerator pedal so I need to run this from that end back through the cable and once we have this end hooked up to the accelerator pedal then we can adjust the length of the other end at the throttle body now this intake kit came with two different cable ends um, one with a kind of a ball and socket with a set screw in it um, this one here has the uh, just a flathead jam nut there's a hole passing through this for the cable to go into now on this throttle body, there's two different holes that you can stick this in. I don't know which one is the, uh, the correct hole, but I'm gonna go into the further one. If, uh, if that doesn't work, then I'll, I'll move it up to this upper hole. I'm guessing it depends on if what length your throttle body is and also probably changes how much tension it pulls at the last little bit. So I got the cable in there. I'm not going to pull it completely tight. I want a little bit of slack and then I can always adjust it a little bit at these jam nuts. I'm kind of in the middle of the travel. We're going to tighten up this uh, set screw. And I'm, Now that I have it cinched up, I'm pulling tension on the uh, bottom of the cable just to keep it from spinning around the uh, the cable end so that should be good I got a little bit of slack it's not going to hold the throttle open now we can position our accelerator pedal inside to make sure that we get full travel of this throttle so when I was doing all of that, I didn't actually have the gas pedal installed. I just had the linkage hooked up here. Now that that's all good, I can start positioning my accelerator pedal. I think I need to go one more spline to achieve full throttle. I think that'll work. Now I can finish assembling this, um, if I can find my other pieces. To put the rest of this back together, I'm gonna put this nylon insert on that side of the pedal. There is a aluminum um, washer and a little Phillips screw. No, oh, that's an Allen. <laughs> so let me grab a wrench for that and I'll tighten that up and we'll be all set to go. Okay, the accelerator pedal stuff is all done. Um, I just gotta snip the end off of here once I know that this is exactly where I want everything run. Um, put, run a zip tie on this cable. If, 
if the cable doesn't work out, then I'll probably get a, a low car one. Um, it's hard to judge the stiffness of the pedal in the shop. Once we get it drivable, we'll be able to tell if it's uh, too stiff, if it's going to cause issues, if there's cable binding. And if that's the case, then I'll probably upgrade this cable to a low car cable or something that's a little better quality. But if you guys have any questions or comments, put those down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see the rest of the build, we're getting close now. Um, next, I'm going to uh, be working on the brake system. We got to get the booster mounted up for the final time, hopefully. Get the hydraulic system bled out. And after that, we can, uh, I think we can take it for a spin. There's a few small things I got to wrap up, tie up, tape up. And then we can have it on the road. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.